Hey, good afternoon. Um, I haven't made a video in a little while, um, but I'd like to say um, it is January 15th, 2015, and it's good to be here. Today is my mother's 73rd birthday, and um, my mom passed away June 28th of 2013 so she has been now um, gone to the other side for a little while and I do miss her and when I look in the mirror I see her <laughs> so I I see her almost every day um, if you can believe that just by me looking in the mirror at myself I um, want to say Happy New Year it's late for doing so but every year every day you can start over and it's a new you so I can say Happy New You I know this new year is um, changeable I want to make changes in me. I went to my doctor not too long ago and I found out my weight is 337 pounds. It is the highest weight that I've had since the early 90s, since about 1994. Around that time um, my weight was about 370 pounds because um, in 92 I had gotten into a construction accident and then I was paralyzed for a time and my weight just escalated around that time and um, because I couldn't walk and I had to learn how to walk and during that time I was having problems with my digestive system and stomach um, I was pretty much, I can say I was eating myself to death because I was very depressed, very out of control, and I saw a doctor and they operated on my stomach, um, taking out the disease parts and then hooking the rest together and doing a modified, what's called a modified gastric um, like a gastric bypass, but not exactly that operation. Um, right now, my weight escalated. I was living in New York from 2002 through 2000 to the end of 2008, and I lost use of my legs again. I got my legs o operated on between 2009 and 2010, or 11, the beginning of 2011. It took me um, a couple years to recover from that and to walk again with therapy. Um, it's still not easy on everything, but I'm doing fine. But before that time, while living in New York, I had gotten my weight down to around 230 pounds, which I was moving pretty good and I looked pretty good and um, I did well. And now. I'm a hundred pounds over again. I would like to get back down to that 230 pound weight or even maybe a little bit lower um, for my height, weight, and body structure. My normal is to be about 185 pounds. My body type does not go by BMI. BMI is a bunch of, uh, fly, you know, it's not meant for me and not my body type. Um, so, in reading Ayurveda, I found out that I have a kirtik, or um, that kind of body type that starts with K, which is short and fat, and, you know, I'm meant to be the way I am. So, um, and I've learned to embrace my body type. It is an inherited genetic body part, uh, body type, and my family 
um, also has, tends to have trouble with the thyroid and some other things, diabetes and cholesterol and all that, but I do not have any problems with diabetes or cholesterol or any of that. I am um, anemic and hypoglycemic, and I have to watch out for that. Something else that runs in the family is arthritis. So, at 51 years old, everything hurts. <laughs> but I live with it, and I manage it. So, I have started um, something I don't like to do is keeping track of everything I eat. And I'm doing that with an app on my phone um, called MyFitnessPal. Um, the dietitian at o um, Ohio State University Medical Center um, showed me the app, and I'm going to give it a try. And it's making me aware of what I eat and where I'm lacking in nutrition. And I'm lacking in nutrition in a lot of vegetables and fruits and stuff because I don't, most of the time, a lot of time, I'm not hungry. And then when I am hungry, I just grab um, some soup or um, some noodles or um, a cup of yogurt or one of those small cups of fruit or the squeezable fruits in the little thingies um, or a uh, uh, granola bar or something like that. I'm not, I love to cook, but. I like cooking for other people. I don't like cooking for myself. I love making a pan of lasagna and taking it someplace or a pot of greens or spaghetti or a cake or cookies or something else for other people. I love making bread and I love doing it for other people, but I do not like cooking for myself because there's just me. But I'm trying to be aware of what I'm doing and what I'm fixing and be a little more mindful of me. I have to take care of me and I have to do right by me if I'm going to be around for a while longer. I don't have children. Um, my family is kind of scattered and distant even though I love them and I try to communicate with them. Um, I have friends that I'm very close to and my spiritual family that I'm very close to. So. My journey begins, I'm on a path, I'm on a journey, but a little sub-journey begins. So, hopefully in the coming days, the coming weeks, um, I will know about where my nutrition and where I stand. So, thank you, and please keep me encouraged, but I am not one to tell myself I can't have this or I can't have that because if I say the can'ts then I want you know so kind of have to use a little psychology on myself and just do everything all things in moderation is my motto and as scriptural too all things in moderation the Bible doesn't really say or scripture doesn't say we can't do this and we can't do that the Bible lets us know what we can do so, all things in moderation. Namaste and shalom.